How you doing? My name is Kelvin King. I'm an Alcorn State University Extension Agent for Adams County. Today we're working with Mississippi State in the Master Garden, which I'm a part of. I just graduated the program on Cray Myrtle Bar Scale, disease that affects Cray Myrtle. So today we're going to try to get you to see a hands-on demonstration with the Master Gardeners on Cray Myrtle Bar Scale. So we're going to try to help you to help your trees. Because Cray Myrtle is so beautiful in the southern region that make your landscape nice and a lot of people have this issue. So now I'm going to turn it over to Jason, which in conjunction with Mississippi State. Oh, my name is Jason Jones. I'm the Adams County kind of Coordinator. And today we're doing a demo on how to treat and identify crepe myrtle bark scale. This disease was first identified four or five years ago here in Adams County naturally, but it's going statewide spread. So we got some material online. This is one of our main brochures on how to identify and also tell you what kind of chemical to use, insecticide to help treat this um, disease. Myself, Alcorn State, and the Master Garden have been diligently working hard to control all these disease issues in our county. So later, Mr. Sager will give you a, a main demonstration on how to identify the disease and also how to control the disease. Uh, good morning, I'm Monroe Sago. We're at Colin uh, School this morning. Uh, we're gonna show the proper way to identify crepe mullet box scale, and we're gonna show you the proper way to inject the tree if it's got box scale. We're gonna go through all the procedures, how to treat a crepe mullet tree or crepe mullet box scale. Right here, these are the instrument that we use. We have the probe. We have the tape measure. We have the injector. We have the bucket. And we have our measuring cup. Because everything got to be measured. Even the butt of the trees have to be measured to know exactly how much chemical to give the tree. OK, for instance, we're going to go to this tree right here. This tree. To identify this tree with the white speck. And also, this tree had crepe mullet box skin. You look at the darkness of the top, the, the, the darkness of the tree. Normally, it starts from the butt and it comes all the way up. This tree has been treated, but it's got to have another dose because right here, you see where the crepe mullet box skin had ate that up. Although your tree is dealing with ants, the tree is dealing with bugs. And the whole thing to do it is rotten, eat the, the trees up. You can just take your hand and do it. Now, the little white spots that you see on the tree here, that's exempt that it's got crepe ball of box here. The sun let you know if it's got it. So what we're gonna do to do this tree and do it properly, we're gonna take our lapels and we're gonna clip all the way around the butt of this tree so we can get in and measure it properly. Now all this that I'm cutting off the tree have to be exposed. You can't just take it and throw it in the yard because you're gonna spread the disease. So right now, we have clipped it back enough to get in and measure this tree. Now when I say measure, we have the tape measure here. We get our tape measure, we go down to the butt, of the tree. When I say the butt of the tree, you come here and you go around the tree, the butt of it, as low as you can get. Then you measure. You come around. This tree is 24 inches. Okay, when you get you're 24 inches. We have a chop here. Oh. We have a chart here to let you know you can go down your scale and when you can get to your 24 inches. When you get to your 24 inches, it's a 4.8 full ounces. So what we'll do, we'll get four ounces of our chemical. 
here. Check it real well. Make sure you got your gloves on when you're using it. I'm gonna get four full ounces of this right here in our jug. And we're gonna pour it into your water. Then we're going to use this stick to stir it real well. It's got to be stirred real well. Now, this is solid white. So we go from here after we done mixed it up and stirred it and put the right amount of chemical into the water. We go here and this is called a probe. We take this probe and we go around the tree. Then you have to work it out. Sometimes you hit a root. You have to bag out and try to get between the roots of the tree. Once you get in between the roots of the tree, you'll hear that sound, the sucking sound. That means you near the roots of the tree. Go all the way around it and work it until you get enough holes in it. And after you get enough holes in it, you come back and you get your chemical. Make sure your gloves is on. And you go back. You pull from the butt of the tree and you come back and down here. And all the holes that I made around the tree, if you notice, it's going into the hole. The roots are sucking it in. And after you do that, you give it another dose to make sure that you got enough that you had measured and used everything, the chemical in the bucket. So after you have finished that, different things like that, this is the probe, I mean, the injector. If you don't want to use this chemical, this probe, you can use the injector. The injector is a whole lot of work to me. This is your tank. You take your tank, you measure the same way that you do in the bucket. You shake it well, you insert it in the probe. You take the probe and you pull it out of the ground. They have a count on it, exactly how many trees that you can do from zero up. This have a point on the end. It's like a syringe, if you can see it. When you stick it in the ground and you go down, it's pushed the chemical into the ground. But both of them work the same. Only the probe, the, the probe and the injector does the same thing. Only this is manual and this is manual. Either one is gonna give you the workout. So that's the proper way to treat and inject a crate mold tree. And any other, any question from anybody that would love to try it themselves while we're here. We have some master gardeners here. Oh, what was your name? Al, Al Walker. We have. Francis Cruz Fernandez. Right, okay. And you remember Orcon and Jason. 